Boya, hey, thanks for joining me again. All right, let's play some more Far Harbor. Here we are in the little fishing village of Far Harbor. And, um... You probably probably realize this is a huge, huge map, and there's lots to do. There's dozens of missions. You don't want to be encumbered with having to go back to the Commonwealth every time you want to take care of business, do some crafting, and um, just kind of like get in contact with the settlement. Want to know how to start up a settlement here in Far Harbor? I'm going to show you how right now. All you have to do is do this mission, walk in the park, okay? Walk in the park, go talk to old Longfellow, follow him to Acadia, all right? Go talk to Longfellow, follow him to Acadia. He's going to take you along this line, this road here, all the way up this mountain path, all the way down here to this location right here. That's where Acadia is. Once you get to Acadia, you're going to complete um, the Walk in the Park quest. And then Longfellow's Cabin, a workshop, is going to be opened up to you. All right? That's on this island here. All right? That's how you do that. Let's do that right now. I'm going to show you two ways of doing this, okay? I'm going to show you the companion way that is you take... Longfellow on is kind of like a companion and he acts as a tour guide and takes you up to Acadia and I'm going to show you another way to do it without Longfellow. Let's do it the companion way first. All right first order of business is turn off the jukebox because there's copyrighted music there. Turn that off. Next order of business is go over to Longfellow. Get yourself geared up in your charisma boosting gear. I've already got mine on and you might as well go back some charisma boosting um, Beverages and whatnot. Take some great men tats. Wash it down with the beer. Check out our stats. We're up to a whopping 14. This should be enough to win a couple of speech checks with Longfellow. Longfellow, speak. Well, Captain Avery said you can get me to Acadia. Heard there was a scuffle out there. You get your hands dirty? <laughs> I'm done leading people to their deaths in the fog. Last fell, I couldn't keep up. Some parents are worried about their runaway daughter. She went to Acadia, and I need to find her. If someone's headed for Acadia, there's always a story. Yours worth dying over, huh? Okay, and now you can win this speech check if you have a high enough charisma. You this should give it down. This girl's all her family has. You'd have to be a real wretch not to give a damn. Bah! This goes against all reason. But I can get you to Acadia. But you've got to listen to me. Go where I say, when I say it. Still won't be easy. You stock up on your necessities, Rad X and the like. And then the real work can begin. All right, so um, you have two choices here. You can go for need some time, and you can do this alone. You don't need Longfellow. You can go to Acadia alone and complete the, the mission on your own. Or you can go, let's go, and that means Longfellow is going to act like a tour guide and take you down to Acadia. Let's do it the tour guide way first. Let's go, Longfellow. Follow me. Then. And before you take off, make sure that you grab this Islander's Almanac. Right now you have nothing marked on the map, all right? Let's just turn off the quest markers here. Get rid of this uh, custom marker. Yeah, you got nothing marked on the map, all right? If you want some points of interest marked on the map, pick up this Islander's Almanac. Nice. Boom. All right. You've unlocked POI map markers across the island. There you go. Let's check it out. Map is now marked up with all kinds of points of interest. Strangely enough, Acadia is not one of them, but there's lots of others. Some of these are kind of questionable as points of interest. I've been to most of them, and some of them are I'm like, why in the world is this a point of interest? <laughs> Maybe I didn't explore them enough, but anyways. So that's that. Let's go follow Longfellow. Okay, so basically this is a no-brainer. Just follow Longfellow. Go where he goes. He's going to take you on a tour up to Acadia. And I'm going to edit this down to save time to get to the point. You're going to run into lots of action. So be ready. Be ready to rock and roll. You will have to endure lots of grizzled old man in the mountain motor mouthing. So fair warning. See the fog into a number. Get you all turned around. But he'll also, like I said, run you into lots of enemies, a number of which will be legendaries. Lots of legendaries in Far Harbor, alright? And they cough up the weirdest gear, stuff like you've never seen before. So, yeah, there are some advantages.
There you go, Hitman's 10 mil auto pistol. Plus 10% damage while aiming. Aiming. Never seen that before. One disadvantage of rolling with Longfellow is he'll stop and yak it up with every rad worshipping lunatic that crosses your path, so once again, fair warning. Well, what have we here? Another rad worshipping lunatic, that's what. Your barbs do not harm me. Eventually you'll come upon this big dome-like structure at which point you will have discovered Acadia. Shortly afterwards, you'll be given the option to use the workshop at Longfellow's cabin and yeah, Longfellow will for offer himself as a companion. You need my help again. You come see me. Got a cabin just outside of Far Harbor. Good place to tool up your gear, get some rest. Or get stinking drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure if you're bringing a bottle of something strong, there's enough to share. <laughs> okay, so now you're like, offered the option to take him on as a companion, companion rather, or decline. I'm going to decline just for demonstration purposes. Good luck in there. All right, let's take a little look. See at the map. We have a new marker marked on the map just north of Far Harbor, Longfellow's cabin. Let's go check it out. We'll start off by fast traveling back to Far Harbor. Okay, the easiest way to get there is to simply swim across the bay. You could go around this way, but I like just to swim across the bay. Even if you got power armor. Just come up to here. Get out of your power armor. You ain't got that fusion core so nobody will jack your power armor. Put on your hazmat suit. What, you don't have a hazmat suit? Shame on you. Go back and get one. And get a free hazmat suit at Cambridge Polymer Labs. Back in the Commonwealth. Swim across the bay. And... Should be able to shimmy up the rocks here. There we go, shimmy up the rocks. Run straight across here. You will discover Longfellow's cabin. Go into this little hut here and there's the workshop oh yeah you now have a settlement in Far Harbor all right now it's kind of comparable to hangman's alley back in the Commonwealth uh, a little better it has a workshop weapons workbench power armor station and a cooking station it's missing a chemistry station and an armor station but you can do that any kind of that crafting that you require back in Far Harbor it's also got a cabin, but there's no bed set up, but you can just scrap the the couch here, give you some materials, and then set up your own bed. There you go. One settlement. In Far Harbor. Now, let's say you absolutely detest rolling with a companion. How do you do all that without Longfellow? Easy. You don't even have to talk to Longfellow to do this, all right? Although, once again, I would recommend it because you'll lose out on a couple speech checks. Gear up. Saddle up. Get ready to rock roll. Exit the southwest side of town. All right, exit southwest. Now, we're going to take the shortcut over to Acadia. You can follow the same route that Longfellow follows, okay? He takes you up on this road here, all the way down this winding mountain path, all the way down to Acadia. There's Acadia right there, okay? Look for this little crook in the road. There's kind of like a hook here. Look for that little crook in the hook right there. That's Acadia, all right? But we could take the shortcut there. We could take this road along here and then go across the mountains to here and then follow that road down there. It's likely that if you follow this route, you might not even run into any enemies. Okay, so if you're underpowered, or if you just don't feel like facing any, enemy, any enemies, this is the route to take. Go out of town, southwest, hang a left, go past this big overturned red tanker here, and follow this road out of town. Alright, this road right here. I'm going to follow it up to the edge of the mountains. I'm going to go just past the log. There's the log. Go past it, and now we're going to start pushing over the mountains just up ahead here. This fog disperser is kind of like your marker, okay? This is an easy way to get over the mountains. Okay. 
And let's put a new marker here. Right there. And we're right on the mountain trail that we want to be on. So let's put a new marker down at Acadia. And follow this road down to that marker. And there's Acadia. And that is the trouble-free, companion-free way of getting a settlement up and running in Far Harbor. Go through the door. Discover Acadia. Acadia, rather. Go up the stairs a little bit. This should start the mission where you belong and should complete the mission walk in the park automatically. There you go. Mission complete. Don't need Longfellow. So if you don't want to roll with that windbag, this is the way to do it. Now, simply fast travel back to Far Harbor. As soon as you get back to Far Harbor, Longfellow will come running up towards you and congratulate you. It's not you. That takes some stones. I appreciate the compliment. Believe me, I don't give them unless they're earned. I know what's in the fog and how to deal with it. Let me run with you. I could help you find your way around. Teach you what I know. Best of all, you won't have to drink alone. There you go. He offers himself as a companion and also the workshop is now available at Longfellow's Camp at Longfellow's Cabin, rather. And you could just decline. You don't have to accept him as a companion to use the workshop, so no thanks. Uh, you change your mind. I'll be ready. And same deal here. The Longfellow's Cabin is now marked on the map. It's not a fast travel point. We have to get there first. Roll into Longfellow's cabin, hit up the workshop, and you got yourself a settlement. So that's it. That's how to start a settlement in Far Harbor. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. And if you thought this video was remotely entertaining and or informative, please subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this hot off the press. That's it. See you next video.